so this is video one. I thought I'd document my uh, my work here on my saltwater uh, reef tank. It's a, I guess considered nano. It's a 10 gallon tank. And I thought I'd just do some videos, uh, document my progress and what I learn as I go through the process of setting this thing up. Um, so to get started here for this one, you can see I've just got the tank and I've got some dry rock in there. Um, got this stand, which is probably the most expensive thing that I bought. Um, it was like 130 bucks or something like that at uh, PetSmart. But uh, I don't know, it was a nice, decent stand, and uh, I figure I'll, I'll use it in the future too when I move on up uh, beyond the 10 gallon. Uh, also, some of my purchases here I got this live sand. Uh, the box down below there, that's just what the rocks came in. I went to my uh, local uh, fish store. And they had a whole bunch of this rock, the dry rock. So um, they just put it in one of those boxes for me to take home. So, so far, what I've done is uh, just basically arrange the rocks. And uh, you can see the red uh, parts here where I've actually puttied or puttied the rocks together, or glued them together with like aquatic putty. Um, and it's the color, I guess, of the algae that will eventually grow on the rock, so it'll match there. Um, but this whole thing, if I move it, it's pretty, it's pretty solid. Um, and I don't know exactly if I'm going to keep just that in there. Uh, put a little bit more rock in. I got some sitting there. Uh, so next step, I've got some uh, more equipment on order. It should be coming hopefully this week. I bought an LED light and, uh, you know, a couple little odds and ends like the water salinity tester and, uh, you know, just some little things for the, for the tank. So that's it for now. That is video one. Next step, um, I guess, is to get some water, which uh, I'm going to go to the hobby shop and get some water from them. Just because I don't have any way of making my own water. And I don't want to use tap water. Our tap water is pretty crappy. And I, obviously, I, I guess I'm I'm new to salt water or reef tanks. Uh, and you, you don't want to use just regular tap water because it's got all sorts of crap in it and whatnot. Um, you want to use like RODI water, which is like filtered water. Um, and they produce that at, the, at your local fish store. So you can see you just pick it up pretty cheap from them um, to start out with. Especially with a 10-gallon like this, it's like oh, it's going to be... I don't know, probably done nothing, you know, a couple bucks to get some 10 gallons of water from. And then eventually I'll figure out how I'm going to be doing water changes and stuff like that. So that's it for now. So um, just one more little update, I guess, you know, obviously I'm going to be doing live sand. Let me, uh, this, over. this is the one I got. Um, I got it from my hobby shop. Right. So I'm going to be doing the live sand, dry rock, and I, I'm not sure, I guess, I don't know if I'm going to do like an, another additive that you can speed up the cycling process. We'll see. So next time, I'll try to update videos, by the way, like, I don't know, it'd be nice to do it daily, but at least uh, I'll be doing a lot of videos, just short ones, just to kind of time lapse what happens within a tank. Till next time, bye.